I'd say it's about time I give you guys a feeble grind tutorial. So what is this bizarre sounding trick? So as you can see, it's when you're coming up to the rail with your back towards the rail and you just put your front truck over and lock in like this. And it should be done with this back wheel locking against the rail. So when you're doing this, there's two main points of contact. There's this part right here, when your weight presses down on the board and kind of pinches it there. And then there's this part right here. Your front foot will be sort of holding the board right here. So some of the prerequisites to learning this trick are gonna to be to have a decent board slide. You really wanna have a good board slide to do this. And then I recommend finding a pretty low rail. And I also recommend, if you can, finding a round rail. These are much easier on round rails than they are on square. And right around that wide, so like this one, is kind of the ideal width too. The wider it gets, the harder it gets to stay onto the rail. When riding up to these, I come at a very slight angle, like maybe five degrees. Yes, upon further investigation, I really do come almost at the exact same angle that I'm about to put my board at. So obviously the concept is pretty simple. You're ollieing, placing your front truck over and just kind of like mobbing your back truck down on the rail somewhere for your first bunch of tries. And there's a couple things you're gonna notice that are gonna happen. Now, the first one is probably you're just gonna kind of get on there, not go anywhere and like jump forward. So I would actually recommend starting quite close to the end of the rail to do this and just know that you're not gonna land them. The second thing that you're going to notice that happens a lot is it likes to just flip out. It's really hard to land them at first. In fact, a lot of people learn them 180 out first, which is kind of cheater because you just sort of like fall off of it to 180. And so while you may think you're doing a better trick, it's actually easier to come out of these with a really cheesy little 180 than it is to actually like pop off. So the key to these is foot positioning on the back of the board and leaning way back. Now, I also like to have really well waxed rails for this. So I don't like to have to lean back so hard just to get it to grind. I want to jump on here, lean back a comfortable amount and just glide through these. So foot positioning is really the same as like a board slide or something similar. I really just, you know, ollie up and kind of onto the rail. Now, once you've plopped onto the rail, that's where the finesse comes in. So after jumping on, my foot kind of has the weight on the ball of my foot, but I transfer it very quickly in preparation to come off. What I was noticing as I was grinding is I really push on my heels in this back pocket right here. So that's what helps you pop up. So leaning back and pushing on my heel in preparation to come off of the rail. It's the same thing if you want to do it in the middle of the rail. You're just pressing on your heel and transferring your weight over real quick. So for the duration of the grind, I noticed myself transferring from the ball of my foot to the heel, getting ready to pop out. So on further investigation, I occasionally actually use the ball of my foot too. It sort of depends. I suppose I'm not so accurate when I'm jumping and, you know, plopping on the rail again. Sometimes I have more of my foot here, sometimes I have more of my foot here. And that will sort of determine whether I'm on my heel or whether I'm on the ball of my foot. And so what it is, is just trying to get most of your weight on your back foot centered somewhere around here. Whether your foot's back here or back here, your weight has to be in this back pocket to pop off. So that's about all the information I have on feeble grinds. They're a super fun trick. You know, my guess is where they got this weird name is probably because it was from people not being able to do backside 50-50 grinds in transition way back in the day. And they kind of just flopped their truck over and did like a, you know, wimpy little feeble grind instead of a solid 50-50 grind, which maybe took a little more skill. Anyways, 
I hope you learned something from this. I hope it's useful. If you didn't find what you're looking for, you can always watch other tutorials because there might be a piece of information that I have missed that is just what you need to hear to help you out. So anyways, thanks for watching and a happy Feeble Grind to you.